As of yesterday, the uh, Minister of Health and Child Care uh, announced that we, from the start of the epidemic, uh, we now have a cumulative uh, total of 7,576 cases, uh, confirmed cases, and this is PCR confirmed cases. Uh, they have also announced that the recoveries continue to be about 80%, which is great news indeed. The deaths remain at uh, a total of 224 uh, since we started. Uh, the good news is recently we are recording very few deaths. We are also recording fewer new cases per day which is very, very good news. However, we really need to make sure that we are not relaxing. As I've said before, as long as we have new cases in a day, it means we are not out of the woods yet. Six months ago, WHO declared COVID-19 a pandemic. What are some of the steps that uh, Zimbabwe has taken uh, to ensure that the pandemic is contained and how effective has this been? government, we're very proud of the decisions that were made in terms of managing this pandemic. We have definitely had lots of challenges on the way, but the fact that government decided, you know what, this is a national uh, a disaster, robbed in everyone, uh, to make it a whole of government and whole of society approach. Uh, everybody out there can say what they have to say, contribute. That is fantastic. So we took that approach, which is a very difficult approach uh, to manage because everybody has something to say, but it is still the most important. So we took that. In addition to that, government decided it is important for us to follow science, not to just thumb suck, to just decide whatever we want. This is a new disease, but there were other countries, China, who had already learned some lessons, who had already published some papers, and hence we were guided by that science. In addition, we also were guided by WHO guidelines. They do look at what's happening regionally, globally, and give us guidance, which we took, we embraced. Of course, here and there, we changed it, we adapted it to suit our challenge, our environment. Okay, earlier on, you mentioned that uh, we're recording fewer new cases these days. Is it because we're testing less, or is it because we actually have fewer new, new, new infections? First, we're not testing as much as we really would like. However, the few numbers that we're seeing are still giving us good guidance in terms of things seem to be settling. But as long as we have new cases, we're not out of the woods yet. Situation in Wuhan has largely improved. That's where it all started. And are we anywhere near that as a country? I think we're doing well, but I just want to keep emphasizing, as long as we're recording new, new cases per day, there might be few, but it's that small group that can suddenly go viral if we relax. So we need to really embrace our new normal of making sure we've got our masks on, we are social distancing, we're washing our hands, and all those, we're eating healthy foods, all those things that we have talked about from the very beginning, as we begin to see our numbers looking like, looking like things are settling, let's hold on tight. I want to emphasize Europe, they had the largest numbers. Things started coming down, they started opening schools, they started doing all sorts of things, and as we are speaking, their numbers are shooting up. Okay, and then uh, yesterday, government resolved that uh, the central registry office will be open as of today, and then uh, the resumption of intercity travel. Um, what is it that people should do to ensure that uh, we do not record a second wave of this pandemic? The public must take this seriously. It doesn't matter what the numbers are like now, whether they're going down, whether they're shooting up, they must continue to really exercise caution. Remember the schools, uh, the registry offices, they are not in isolation. They are in the public, in the community. So if you, the community, are not doing what you need to do, social distancing as you take your, the bus to go to the registry or to go to school, uh, you're not washing your hands, you're not sanitizing, you're holding that, uh, that uh, learner who's trying to cross the road to help them, you're not helping them if you have, your hands are dirty and you, you're holding their hand to so on. So you in the community, do what you have to do. Wash your hands, social distance. Don't go into crowds unnecessarily. If you're not working in town, please stay home.